You don't know how many nights I lost sleep over having to do this stuff myself without proper equipment. <laughs> I bet. Then sitting batter boards and worrying about it. Yeah, anyways. batter boards. No matter what you do, yeah. first thing that happens is the guy with the backhoe bump into them. Absolutely, that's what they call batter boards. Yeah, bad, yeah, batter boards. <laughs> they get battered around. Battered around. Got a good start on the forms. I don't know where the guys are. It's like nine, a little after nine and nobody's here. What's going on? This particular wall is gonna be almost 12 feet tall. So we got rebar dialed into the footing every 12 inches. Our vertical spacing and I think the horizontal spacing is 10 or 12 inches so there's going to be a lot of reinforcing in this wall I just love poured walls I don't know what it is I love the structural qualities I love the aesthetic qualities the permanence It's just going to be here for a long time. It's just exciting for me. I don't know. I love this part of the project. I was going to show you the difference in the uh, flowable fill and regular concrete. I think that's 3,000 PSI concrete there that we use for footings, and that's got rebar in it. This is the flowable fill. This is about six foot deep right here. So you can see you can actually, it's actually designed to be able to dig through, you know, with a track, a backhoe or something. Uh, for like street cuts so that if you fill in a street cut and you had to dig it back up you can always do that now let's go to con let's go to the normal concrete <laughs> so that's just a quick example of the differences flowable fill regular concrete so but again this is just designed to give yourself a base yeah you know, it's probably six or seven foot deep right here so we took out all of the bad topsoil fill dirt and uh, use that to bring it back up now our real footing will go on top of this because we'll have a turned down slab out here and it'll have two uh, number fives in it. You can see there's an area here where we're pouring it higher that these fill, these forms will be filled in on Monday. Today's Friday. And then, then the foundation steps down right there to 10 feet. These are 12 foot walls. And I'm doing that so that I can show less foundation. 
the grade will come across like this and then start to slope down. So I don't want that wall being that tall over there. And the same is true right here. So the trusses will sit, we've got floor trusses. These are running this way. And the floor trusses will sit on that wall, but they'll hang on this one. That should be kind of interesting. The other sad thing is that this tree is gonna come down. I actually fought for this tree. I said we can just trim it and build the house and everything will be fine. But everybody else, the neighbors, the homeowner, the electricians, the plumbers, everybody wants it gone. So this is my tribute to this tree while it's still alive. Sorry, buddy.